Well, I hope you're preparing for what's coming this winter because it's getting grimmer by the day. We're not just talking about energy price hikes. We're not just talking about people's bills getting more expensive. We're talking about the power being turned off completely for God knows how long. Even the New York Times is talking about a physical absence of energy for Europe this winter. I don't think many Americans appreciate just how tense and tenuous, how very touch and go the energy situation in Europe is right now, wrote David Wallace Wells. In recent weeks, the prospects have begun to look darker. Dr. Tatiana Matrova states it even more starkly. She says it's, quote, wartime. There is something that European politicians and consumers didn't want to admit for quite a long time. It sounds terrible, but that's the reality. In wartime, the economy is mobilized. The decisions are made by the governments, not the free market. This is the case for Europe this winter. And German official Stephen Kramer just made an alarming prediction. He says that energy rationing and gas shortages in Europe will lead to mass protests and riots. According to Kramer, the unrest will make the anti-lockdown demonstrations look like, quote, a children's birthday party in comparison to what is coming. If the crisis scenario is described at the beginning of the energy crisis, supply crisis, economic crisis, worldwide famine, with the subsequent migration crisis and the possible expansion of the Ukraine war continue to escalate almost simultaneously, then we will have to deal with a high probability of a situation that threatens the existence of larger parts, especially the stability anchor middle class in our society. Germany is, of course, completely dependent on Russian energy. Before the war began, Germany imported 55% of its gas from Russia, along with a third of its oil and 45% of its coal. Now Germans are being told their thermostats will be remote controlled, and they're telling them not to shower and not to drive their own cars as they prepare to inflict energy rationing on the population. And they can blame Vladimir Putin until the cows come home. But NATO is equally to blame for creating the conditions that led to the invasion of Ukraine. Western governments and the media are to blame for pushing and implementing disastrous green energy policies. Renewable resources which are pathetically incapable of filling the gap left by coal and nuclear plants. Which are being shut down by our governments left, right and centre. They've left us desperately dependent on an industry that isn't fit for purpose. Our living standards, our quality of life is being deliberately dismantled in the name of supporting the current thing. And it will almost certainly lead to, this winter, people freezing to death, while many go hungry and others take their anger to the streets. <laughs>